Hola, CFS Warriors. It's Victoria coming to you from Mexico. Just want to talk to you today about the land of the living. There is a verse that says, I would have despaired unless I had believed that I would see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. And you know, there were just so many times through this illness of CFS where I despaired and I really just didn't think I could go on. You know, when days turn into weeks, turn into months, turn into years, it's just such a, an isolating and really horrible experience. So the thing is, in the midst of that, if you can believe that you will see the goodness of your life again in the land of the living, that will help propel you because I held on to that verse so often in the darkest of nights just believing someday I would be back in the land of the living and I would see the goodness of God and the goodness of life. So you know today we're here in Mexico I'm here with my family and you know to me sometimes it's like there's two worlds that exist. Right now I am out in the land of the living. I'm not fully recovered so uh, there's a lot of reminders of the illness for me but at the same time, I'm nowhere where I used to be, where I used to be sick and bad all the time. And, and just, as you know, if you followed my story at all, you know, just getting up and taking a shower once, maybe twice a week was a major event. So what I was saying is sometimes it feels like there's two worlds. There's the CFS world and there's the land of the living. And, you know, I often think that we're like the Nazgul in the Lord of the Rings. We're neither the living nor the dead when you've got CFS severely. And the thing is, the land of the living is still out there. And this world was made for you. And it's your right, your divine right to be in it. So hang on to that hope that you will be back in the land of the living. You know, today we took a boat out to that island that I showed you. And it was so amazing being on a boat again, riding through the water, looking at the gorgeous glass sea, and then arriving at this little island I'd never been to, and all these Mexicans were there. It was wonderful, because it was kind of away from the resort we're on, and it was more in the local environment. And, you know, it was so amazing. I was around people that were just laughing and living, and, and everyone was snorkeling, and I took a raft and went out with my family while they snorkeled, and I just cruised around enjoying the scenery. And then we came back to the beach and we ordered this amazing meal. It was this seafood platter and it was absolutely huge and it was so gorgeous, all this beautiful food. And you know, it was just amazing to be back in the land of the living. So I wanna encourage you that you can be back in the land of the living. It may take time. You know, I've had this illness now for seven years and I've been on the recovery path for two and a half years. And that two and a half years has been some of the most challenging times of my life, stretching and reaching, but you know what? It was so much better than the five years before it where I didn't even know what was wrong with me and didn't know how to even get out of bed and get my life going again. So just hang in there, never give up, no, hold fast to the idea of you being back in the land of the living, living your life again. I know sometimes it's hard to visualize that when you're sick and bad, just hang on to the hope that you're going to get there, but don't just hope. Check out the resources I've listed. As I said before, I have no commission on those things, but I believe in them. They've gotten me out of bed to where I am now, and it's been a very slow but steady progress. So I'm wishing you all the best from the beach to your bed, and just wanting to remind you again that life is not over. It's starting again. Two. Here's the two most important people. We're doing a video. I'll up this way. Oh, there we go. Ah, hello. How's my hair? Great. How's my makeup? Perfect. Cool. This is good lighting. I look fabulous. Oh, awesome. She's got awesome. A How about me? Look at me. Look, not yeah. even a wrinkle. Oh, oh yeah. I can't believe it. Absolutely. So, we're here to comment on a mom with CSF and how we survive it. Well, we do many things. We uh, get her a wheelchair and we run her around and then she gets really stressed out because we kind of crash into stuff. But, you know, it wasn't it's on what purpose. we do. It's, you know, the intent that counts. Don't do it on purpose. And uh, 
and then we run her food back and forth and um, we give her a whole bunch of food and she eats and eats and eats and eats so we're gonna have to make this plate smaller. That's me. He's talking. <laughs> And I'm then the so coffee, fat. I... and we risk our lives with hot coffee. Ugh, burned myself today. It was terrible. Uh oh. Mm. Cut.